Hey guys, we've got another 3D model for you that you're just going to love. If you remember a while ago, we released the self-aligning fin brackets to make fin construction easier, but many of you had issues getting that design to print in the correct size, so we removed that design from distribution and went back to the drawing board to come up with something much better, the Universal Fin Can. In the distant past, we experimented with completely 3D printed rocket fins, but those proved heavy and difficult to print because of the complicated internal support structure. You may have seen some of our first designs as early as 2013, when we were first experimenting and learning about 3D printing. We quickly abandoned that idea in favor of traditional fins cut from coraflute or similar flat sheet material, and mounted them using our 3D printed fin brackets. This design worked well in our testing, but proved to be troublesome for others thanks to the slight variations in 2 liter bottle diameters around the world. We always considered this design to be a bit of a step backwards compared to the previous 100% 3D printed version, so we decided to start over. Our latest design is superior to both of our previous attempts because it is both strong and lightweight, and it looks amazing, especially when printed using some of the exotic filaments available today. If you're wondering what we did differently this time, it's quite simple. The Universal Fin Can is designed to take advantage of a seldom used setting in your 3D printer's slicer to generate a fin can that has the most desirable combination of properties. This fin can design takes advantage of the principle of structural skin, where the tensile and compressive loads are completely supported by the outer skin of the structure, much like an eggshell. The way this is accomplished is easy. You've probably seen people printing beautiful but somewhat useless containers to demonstrate their 3D printers using a slicer setting referred to as vase mode or spiralize outer contour mode. Every popular slicer has a mode like this and it creates an object by extruding a continuous perimeter layer in a spiral pattern from bottom to top. This mode produces beautiful prints with a single extrusion width wall and it does it very quickly. We discovered that through careful planning, a fin can with perfect aerodynamic airfoils could be printed this way, and once mounted on a water rocket bottle, its protruding fins become very rigid, even more so than our previous designs. Virtually every launch we have done over the past two years, including our Gemini two-stage water rocket project and our next generation water rocket project, have used variations of this fin concept, so we know how durable they can be. But the issue of bottle diameter variations still made it impossible to share this model until recently when a simple solution presented itself. We realized that the answer was to scale our current design such that it fits a theoretical 100mm diameter bottle, and then after that every other bottle size becomes a simple percentage scale of that model. Any diameter bottle can easily be supported by simply using the scale feature of your slicing software to scale by the diameter in millimeters expressed as a percentage. For example, an 83.5 millimeter diameter bottle would be 83.5% scaled. A 135.3 millimeter bottle becomes a scaling factor of 135.3% and so on. You can also experiment with setting the height scale to different values if you want to make the fin can longer or shorter. If you can measure the diameter of your bottle, then you can make a universal fin can that fits. You can find a link to this model on our Thingiverse page in the description below. But before you print your own, there are a number of printer settings that you should be aware of. When you enable the vase mode in your slicer, you should disable printing the top and bottom of the print. Otherwise, your fin can will be capped off on the bottom, like a vase. If there's no setting to directly disable printing the ends, you can just set their thickness to zero, and that should prevent them from printing. Another issue to look for is warping on larger diameter fin cans. This is caused by the plastic shrinking as it cools and creating stresses in the print. Adjusting the temperature lower can help, and failing that, a larger bore print nozzle can eliminate this issue.
it's a good idea to print a small portion and then cancel the print, then test fit the resulting print and see if it fits. This will eliminate wasting time in plastic on a slightly incorrect scale. If the print is a touch small, then scale up by a fraction of a millimeter and try again. Scale down if the print is too large. Eventually you'll find the print scale with a perfect fit for your bottle, and then you can go ahead and print the entire model. Once your universal fin can is printed, you can slide it over your bottle and glue or tape it in place. After that, it's ready for launching. We hope you enjoyed this video and can make use of the new fin can design. Keep in mind it would be fairly easy to make rounded fins or unusual fin counts by changing this model slightly. Let us know in the comments below if you have any special requests, and if there's enough demand, we'll make additional models. As always, remember to like, share, and comment below. We still read and respond to all of your comments, and we would like to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.